James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little walkthrough, this is of the B-Bin Mini PC. This is their MN-C100 Mini PC. We're going to show you guys, um, I'm going to pretty much hook it up and show you guys walk through the software install or download. Now, if you guys don't know, this is the Mini PC. I'm sorry, it's a little dark in here. I'll try to lighten it up in the colorization. This PC came with a tripod. It has a web camera on the front. On the side is the power. Back is the HDMI and micro USB. Now you will need the power brick right here to power it up. Just like that. Take it, plug it into the mini micro USB. That is your power cord. You plug it in, power it up. Now they do give you a micro HDMI to HDMI, which is great because not everybody's gonna have one of those on hand. Then pretty much you take the micro side, plug it into where it says HDMI, and you're in. You'll do the opposite side, just like you're connecting up, you'll connect your HDMI up to your TV or to your monitor and then power it up. I'm gonna do this off site. I mean, pretty much anybody can plug this in. I'm gonna do that off, then I'll switch views, bring you guys in closer so you guys can see it up close. Okay, now that I have it hooked up and I have it sitting down here, hopefully you guys can see this over here. I know it's going to be a little dark in here, unfortunately. I have it sitting on a tripod in front of the computer. Now, we are going to have to find the input, but first we're going to have to hit the power button, which is on the side. I apologize. Should be input three, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. It could be input two. Nope, oh, input three. We're now powering up. You guys are going to see this as it goes. I'm going to try and adjust the camera so you guys can see the screen. Now you guys can see my glowing reflection. I have my Dragon Blogger shirt on today. I am going to take a seat and walk you guys through this. Now if you guys don't have one, I suggest picking up a wireless keyboard and mouse. Or you can use your phone, they say. Now I have a wireless keyboard mouse combo that I'm gonna be using. As you can see, it just takes a moment. We'll probably zoom through some of this stuff off and on as it goes. As you know, in today, updating computers from the first time does take a little bit. We'll probably jump through, they'll probably make us log into some stuff. Hopefully I can remember my logins, but when we do the logins, you know, I'll probably blur that out or cut those little chunks out so you guys don't see this. But like you see, we are in. Now they want to know if we want English. Of course we want English. Now this is Windows 10. So it is a cut down version of Android Windows 10, which is pretty cool. I can't say Android, but it is cut down. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. We don't care. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Wahoy Shehebus. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. That's pretty cool. An assistive screen reader. So you can talk to this one and it'll walk you through it if you want to talk to the com computer. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's take a moment and dig on in. Your region is set to the United, United States. States. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yes. There you go. So you guys, if you want, you can just talk to Corona or... Corona or whatever her name is. is set to yes. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. So as you guys can see, we can just that talk. It skips us through. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. I want us to log in. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Skip for now. Skip for now. Just so 
so you know, connecting to a network now can save you some time later. If no. you want to get that out of the way, choose yes. No. Next up, the legal side. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Accept. Accept. I guess we have to do this by hand, guys. So, they want us to scroll through this like this. And accept. So technically you can't do that. You want to name your account. Let's just say James. Next. Okay, now type a password for your account. I don't want to. questions to help you reset your password if you forget it. Choose the first question and type your answer. Alright, as you've seen, I skipped through the password part. You guys don't need to see that. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Decline. No, decline. You guys don't need that, so... Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing, even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. No. No. See, you guys could add that if you wanted. You don't have to. Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Accept. We're just going to accept this. Or we can go through and show you guys this stuff. We don't have a mouse and keyboard, so it's kind of... Acting a little weird. My keyboard isn't working, or my mouse isn't working, and I'm not sure why. There we go. All right. Almost done now. So the mouse Just was in sleep. Just a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. They're getting everything ready. So I'm going to switch positions. I'm going to move over here with Baby Yoda. This is to, it'll take several minutes. Don't turn off. We'll probably zoom through this fast forward right about now. Okay, we're almost done. As you can see, Windows is now loaded. We are fully into Windows mode. Now, the first thing I want to test out while I'm here. is the camera. Since it has a built-in camera, let's test this out. Let's see what it can do. This is kind of going to be kind of cool to see what it looks like. As you guys can see, it's actually not... Nah, we don't need to locate that. It's not bad. I, I'm not disappointed with that. I, it's dark in here because I have windows off. As you can see, there's only one light on in this place and that's in the kitchen. You guys can see Baby Yoda. Let's check him out. You guys can see my camera behind me recording, um, or beside me over here. This is my camera, my Dragon Vlogger shirt. See if you guys can get this detail. Need coffee, can't sleep. That is pretty cool. So, that is not bad. Let's check out the settings of the camera. We can disable it. We can change the press to 3 point megapixels. Um, that's 20, 2304 by 2096, or we can go 3.5 at 2304, 1536, or 2048 by 1536, which is pretty cool. Video recording is 1080p at 30 frames per second, but you can change it down to 720p or less. 50 hertz flicker or 60 hertz. Digital vid video stabilization, which is pretty cool. Now, they say this can be, let's take a picture. Let's take a look at the picture. As you can see, it flipped. It's not a great picture, but it's the way it's set. You can adjust it, you know. 
Let's go over to video. Let's start a video. Uh, virus protection popped up. As you guys can see, this virus protection popped up. Not a big deal. We're just testing it. We're going to test the microphone. I'm actually going to play this back for you guys in a second so you guys can hear it through my TV. We'll go over here. We'll kill the virus protection right now. We don't need that right now. Let's go over to here. Let's pop this up. Now, you guys, as you guys can hear, let's try it this way now. There's no sound, so if we go back, click to Intel TV. It does have a little feedback, unfortunately. It has a little feedback that way, but I think it just may be some of the settings, and you can be changed around. Not a big deal. Not bad. Not freaking, not horrible. Excuse my uh, kind of little speech there. So we're going to go in here. We don't need this, so... Somehow you can delete these, but we're not going to worry about this. So we have a camera roll, not a big deal. So that is that. If you guys want to hook up your uh, Wi-Fi, you know, click over here, click a setting. You know, we are not connected. So if we connect over here to Wi-Fi, show available networks, it's going to pop up some networks over here. I'm going to click my Killer J and click connect. I will skip over this part. Okay, as you've seen, um, I fast forward a little. We are now connected to my Killer J 5G. Let's pop up the internet. Let's see what it does. Start screen. Microsoft. Download Microsoft Edge. Um, I'm not sure why Microsoft Edge isn't already downloaded, but, you know, accept, download, thank you, download will begin, we are just going to run this and see how fast it takes to do this, you know, I don't understand why the new Edge isn't already installed, but it's a done count version of this, we have this, just allow it, Now we can wait and try. We can't wait. As you can see, it's actually going pretty quick. The download's done. You know, that's not bad for a mini PC with what it is. I'm actually quite impressed with this. Now we're installing. This should be pretty quick and simple. This, you know, it's an install, so of course it's going to take a little install and like download. Download was quick, so the internet speed downloading with this is pretty good depending on your internet. But for the mini PC, did very well. Now installed. As you guys can see, we're installed. We're going to close this. Signing in, it says. Introducing Microsoft Edge. From Internet Explorer to Edge. Complete setup. Continue without signing in. So now let's go over to. Let's, to the dragonblogger.com. And pop it up. So let's see if it loads pretty good. It's just some little testing right now showing you guys. As you can see, here's our home page. That loaded pretty quick. I'm not going to complain with that. That's pretty quick, pretty good. You know, 
Um, which rig should I use? This is Justin. Justin did this the other day. Let's see how quick it loads up. You know, you don't need that. Watch us live on Twitch. Um, it loads pretty good. You know, his blog, it shows you what rig you should use and how you should use it. But let's check out the little video real quick. Let's see how well it plays the video. NAS, which is a network attached storage device, is a diskless array system where you install hard drives. Usually they have to be matching hard drives of the exact same type. Of Pretty capacity. decent. I mean, no lag, no, no, no setback. So such as that is the B-Bin Mini PC. Uh, hook up and software walkthrough. You know, you can do plenty more. This is full Windows, like setup, you know. Everything you want to do is on here, Bluetooth devices, you know, Bluetooth systems. It does have Bluetooth in it, so you can Bluetooth stuff. Uh, your accounts, apps, installs, you know, updates and security. So if you need to check for updates, I mean, it's Windows 10, so there's no updates right now, but you can check. Let's see what it does. But as I could say, Here's a whole bunch of updates. We're gonna let it update, but that is the walkthrough software walkthrough and uh, install the B-Bin mini Windows PC with built-in web camera. Thank you